So not only can you extract the stems Damn. from the sample, but now you can de-verb anything that has a ridiculous amount of reverb. Now nah, this is nuts. <laughs> if we click this menu now, oh, shit. look at this. Deverb. Anything that has a ridiculous amount of reverb. You can do this with recordings and stuff too Everything. now. Any audio clip that's in the playlist. That's sick. Anything. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, bro. Fire. We gotta we gotta take something out in the in the hallway then. Like that idea we yeah. had with that crazy reverb in the hallway. Y'all yep. don't know about this. We have a hallway <laughs> with crazy reverb. Yeah. I mean, you can go out there right now, record it on your voice memo, send it the email, and we can try it. Want to? Yeah, it'd be sick. Yeah. Quick little joint. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> Let me this is John going into the hallway and he's gonna yeah, that's a, he's gonna deverb. make some reverb. Yeah, just make some sort of noise in voice memo. Yeah, go like right yeah, just like Visibly in the hallway. Uh? <laughs> uh? <laughs> Dude, the reverb on that is crazy. All right, so what I'll do is because hey, there's yo. some laugh in here. I'll get. I'll get rid of the is that, what I'll do is I'll make this unique as sample, so that way we have just that noise and that reverb. We'll do this deverb that. <laughs> Be and it's a voice, so we gotta go voice, right? Yo, FL, congrats. You know what I mean? In image line, congrats on the new uh, software <laughs> AI <laughs> stuff you're doing. We're using it. <laughs> this is what happens when we get new toys. All right, so here's the original. Uh? <laughs> uh? Yo, that reverb though is good. So you good. gotta you gotta capture that reverb. We should do that here. In Fruity Convolver, we can capture the impulse response. We can get that actual reverb. That's a good reverb. Listening to it like this, bro, like you gotta hear it. Uh? All right, That's so like a cathedral. Now let's get rid of it. Uh? <laughs> yeah. Bro, how good is that? Hit OK and it automatically makes a new reverb. You could see that it definitely gates it. Mm -hmm. All right, so maybe there's there's room to grow with this technology, but you could see how good it did. It looks like it, it squashes it down a little bit. It definitely does something. It definitely throws some sort of compression. It's compressing it because look, that those peaks right there, they can't just be mm -hmm. reverb peaks, right? That's got to be some sort of peak in the dynamic of the actual voice. Right. And then you could see that it's squashed those peaks. Merck, if you take mm. a look at this, you could probably tell me. Look at what it did, right? Yo, guest feature from Merck. So this is the original one. And then this is the deverbed one with the processing all the way up. So it like threw, it definitely gated it. Because right here, you could see that it kind of completely squashed the reverb. But then it the gate opened right here. So why did the gate open back up? And you see that slope at the end of the, uh, the, the joint too? Like right before that big peak at the end? If you look right up top, yeah, see right before that. Yeah. There's like that little valley that isn't there in the original. So it's like it starts to ramp it down there. It definitely compressed it, right? That's what I was saying. Those aren't reverb peaks. Those are just normal peaks in it, and they're gone. If you listen. You want to hear, you wanna hear this? You want to hear the <laughs> nonsense? <laughs> so this is the original. Listen to how good the reverb sounds, though. Uh Good reverb though, right? Reverb's that's crazy. That's your hallway, bro. That's that's a good reverb. But now listen to what it did. The front end sounds really good. It's over here where the gate opens back up that it's like, eh. Uh? If we trim that, the workaround is just trimming it. This piece right here has no reverb. Uh? 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 That's really good. Maybe they found the happy medium so far right now of like, not killing the quality of the sound. As far as my ears go, it doesn't sound like the the sound, the quality doesn't lose any like integrity or there's no added artifacts that you yeah. would get when you stem split or anything like that. It sounds like it kept the exact quality of the vocal. When you throw that in a mix, bro, you you deverb something that you really need to deverb. Mm -hmm. That's good technology, I think. Now it's again integrated in FL Studio. You don't need a third party cuz Isotope did that stuff. RX, that's what it is. Somebody mentioned that in the comments the other day is it as good as rx i'm like i don't know i haven't really used that is it a thousand dollar plugin for the bundle so the wow. answer is no so <laughs> so the answer is no no thousand dollar plugin needed bro you yeah. just got a fl <laughs> <laughs> yo oh man did you hear that Merck? That was, i reversed that it that was crazy yo. you hear me laughing in reverse <laughs> and then <laughs> hey yo yeah this is an oh, x-rated episode oh my god i think we might have to end it there Holy I'll, I'll shit. Uh, i'm sweating now yeah i'm schwitzing uh, right i'm schwitzing i'm sweating <laughs> Holy shit.